Hey, in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can add noise to different uh, meshes. So for example, I'm going to grab this box, drag a box onto my grid, and I'm going to uh, smooth it and give myself maybe, uh, I'll keep it relatively low poly, so divisions set to uh, three. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my mesh, go to edit mesh and click on transform options. And in here, if I reset this, you will see that by default, um, the random settings are set to zero. But if you uh, pump this up to um, one and say apply, you will see that a interesting little um, gizmo appears. And if we grab our blue um, axes and just kind of drag it out, you can see that it's going to randomly create a noise applied to the object that we have selected. So this is a really clever way to quickly add noise. Maybe you're building rocks, planets, environments. Um, keep that in mind. That's a cool way to quickly apply uh, randomization to your uh, geometry. All right, so then, of course, uh, if you got it to the point where you are uh, happy with it, you can, of course, re topologize So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see maybe in this case, this is some sort of a asteroid or a rock. All right, so that's one way of applying noise to a mesh. Uh, let's take a look at one more option. So I'm going to control Z all the way back to the beginning. All right, so here I have my uh, sphere. So in, uh, as another option, let's go ahead and go, go to uh, deform under our uh, modeling. And let's go ahead and try something called texture. So uh, deform texture. So I'm going to click on my options here and make sure that it's reset. And the only thing I'm going to do is just simply say create. All right, as soon as you click uh, create, it looks like nothing happened, but in your uh, outliner, you see that this deformer handle has been added, right? So now if we wanted to um, manipulate it, we can go to attribute editor and then we can uh, navigate over to texture deformer. And in here we have uh, something that allows us to pick a texture for our sphere. So in this uh, example, I'm just going to uh, select something like noise. All right. And before I play around with the noise, I would like to change the direction of the noise that's being applied. So to do that, I'm going to navigate uh, out to my uh, node here, the texture deformer node. And instead of the UV, uh, maybe I can change this to uh, in the direction, actually, I, I need to change the direction. So instead of the handle, maybe I can go to uh, normal. All right, so just like uh, in the previous example, this is going to give us some control by applying uh, noise to our mesh. And once you choose your strength, you can, of course, go inside the texture. And now you have a whole uh, army of settings that can even be uh, animated so all of this can be all of these could be animated so you can change the frequency you can change the implode factor you can change the density all right so now uh, if we want to uh, animate our uh, noise all we need to do is let's set our timeline to 24 frames and um, I'm going to go inside my uh, texture and let's just play maybe with uh, how about just the frequency. So on uh, frame uh, zero, I'm going to go to frequency and right click and set a key. Then I'm going to go to 24 and also set a key. Then I'm going to go to 12 and let's go ahead and change this value to something else and set the key once again. And now if we press play, we will have our noise uh, being uh, animated, which is uh, really cool. All right, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.